Have you ever heard of a thief who got outsmarted by a little boy? Let me take you on a journey to a small town where this very tale unfolded. In this humble town lived a man, a thief by trade. He was no ordinary thief, for he had honed his craft since he was a mere boy. As the years passed, his confidence bloomed and he fancied himself the cleverest of all thieves. With so many years under my belt, who could possibly outwit me? He'd often chuckle to himself. But alas, one day he found himself in a predicament. His pockets were empty, his stomach was growling, and he had no choice but to venture out in search of his next meal. He decided to stroll through the lush farmlands, confident that he'd find something to fill his belly. So he dressed well and went off towards the field. As he walked down the field his eyes caught sight of a young boy crying near a well. The thief, curious and sensing an opportunity, approached the sobbing child. His ears perked up as the boy began to tell his tale. The boy held up a frayed rope, explaining how he'd lost his silver bucket in the depths of the well. The thief's heart pounded at the mention of silver, his mind spinning with devious plans. He comforted the boy, assuring him not to worry, that he would retrieve the bucket in no time at all. The thief, blinded by greed and the thought of a silver prize, quickly shrugged off his clothes, preparing to dive into the well. With a hopeful heart and a sly smile, the thief took a deep breath, ready to plunge into the unknown. To get the bucket, the thief threw off his clothes and bravely jumped into the well. Inside the well, the thief searched everywhere but could not find any bucket. He squinted his eyes, trying to adjust to the dim light, his hands reaching out in the cold water, but all he felt was the slippery moss-covered stones. All the while, the silver bucket he'd been promised was nowhere to be found. A sinking feeling began to settle in his gut. Little boy, he called out, his voice echoing off the cold stone walls of the well. Little boy, where is your silver bucket? But the only response he received was his own voice, echoing back to him in a taunting manner. The chilling silence that followed made his heart pound. It was then, in the echoing silence of the well, that the thief realized he'd been duped. With a sinking heart, he began to climb the steep walls of the well. Each stone seemed to mock him, each slip of his foot a reminder of his folly. The climb was arduous, a cruel punishment for his greed. Sweat dripped from his brow, his hands ached and his muscles screamed in protest. But the thought of the little boy's laughter, the thought of being tricked, it fueled him, pushed him to climb faster. When he finally emerged from the well, gasping for breath, he looked around. The little boy was nowhere to be seen. The fields were empty, save for the rustling leaves and the gentle wind. Even the chirping of the birds seemed to mock him. His heart sank further as he realized that not only had he been tricked, but he had also been robbed. His clothes, his only possession had been taken by the little boy. His mind raced with thoughts of what he should do next. How was he to get back home without his clothes? How was he to face the townsfolk, knowing he'd been outsmarted by a mere child? The thief fell to his knees, looking at the sky, a sense of defeat washing over him. Now, what shall I do without any money and clothes? said the thief to himself. The thief was left with nothing, not even his dignity. This tale, while seemingly simple, is a profound reminder of the inexorable law of karma. Just as the ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions we take, whether good or bad, reverberate through the universe. The thief, who had spent his life taking what was not his, found himself stripped of everything by a child no less. It is a potent reminder that our deeds, our choices, are not without consequence. They return to us, often in ways we least expect. The thief learned this lesson the hard way when he was left shivering and penniless. A life of dishonesty and deceit had caught up to him in the most unexpected of ways. So remember, what goes around comes around. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And that, dear viewers, is how a little boy outsmarted a thief, teaching us all that a bad deed will always be repaid by a bad fortune.